One of a soldier's priorities is physical fitness. To ensure this, the Army holds PT, but some units go one step further when they hold PT competitions. I went out to one such competition that went one step further than just physical fitness. The Army Reconnaissance Course trains reconnaissance leaders in reconnaissance tactics, the gathering of intelligence and leadership qualities that bring a recon scout to a reconnaissance leader. But one of their main events during their 27-day course is called Validus Disciplus, a PT competition that's as dedicated as its name. Today we're conducting the Validus Disciplus, which is a, essentially a three-hour PT event that incorporates physical fitness and problem solving. The students are broken down into teams of four, and everyone participates in every event. And with six teeth-clenching events and the freedom to choose the order you do them in, the test is in the strategy they use. I am excited because I know I can do it. The events can be conducted in multiple orders. They consist of a five-mile road march, one minute of push-ups, one minute of sit-ups, a rope climb, which is a pass or fail, as many pull-ups as one can conduct, and as many dips as they can conduct, as well as a tire flip, and then a bench press consisting of 70% of the soldier's body weight for as many repetitions that he can do. Validus Disciplus includes physical challenges that can test the endurance, coordination, and strength of their students. But just like the rest of the course, this competition is about problem solving and critical thinking as well. That was exhilarating. We consider this event important because it, it blends problem solving as well as physical fitness, which most mainstream thought in today's Army is that it's got to be one or the other. But when you're trying to build adaptive leaders, leaders are there to solve problems, and we're also trying to develop physically fit soldiers. Competitions like this are important to the Army mission in that they not only promote physical fitness, they also help build leader attributes and work directly into the outcome-based training methodologies used at the ARC. Now the leader attributes are, are the problem solving. I know I'm going to go into this thing, it's going to last a certain amount of time. I'm going to have to carry a certain amount of weight, so do I want to go straight into the rope climb uh, right after I just did the pull-ups? Do I have people that, you know, can't climb the rope? It's one of those kind of things as well. The mission of the ARC is to train adaptive leaders, soldiers, and thinkers. This competition is just one example of how they do that using basic principles and learning methodologies to create critical thinking and physically fit soldiers.